Good evening, YouTube. It's Chompy again. Now, in response to uh, some limp-wristed, limp-dick faggots about my last video who apparently are a bunch of pussy-ass bot queers, can't handle a little bit of not gruff man, decided I'll change things up a bit for this video and be more rough and gruff for y'all so you can fantasize about getting your ass raped by this or something. I don't know what the fuck you queers like. Anyway, this evening, I'll be reading I Wish Daddy Didn't Drink So Much by Judith Vigna. His last name sounds a lot like, well, y'all's got him. Fucking vaginas. Bunch of pussies. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the story. I wish Daddy didn't drink so much. The story and pictures by Judith Vigna. For Christmas, Daddy made me a sled. He brought it to my room on Christmas Eve. I knew it was only Daddy in a Santa Claus suit because he bumped into my bed twice and spilled beer on the rug. I didn't like that. When Daddy drinks a lot of beer, he acts funny. that he built me a sled. Shiny blue with little stints of flowers. There was a note that said, Dear Lisa, your dad promised me to take your sled and ride after breakfast. Love, Santa. I knew it wasn't really Santa's riding, but I didn't care. Daddy and I haven't had any fun in a long time. After breakfast, Dad didn't want to go sledding. Later, he growled. Didn't even look at the Christmas card I drew. Made in school, especially for him. Helped Mama fix the turkey. Bought an extra big one because her new friend, Mrs. Field, was coming for Christmas dinner. They met at a meet for people with a lot of drinking in their family. Mama says it's okay to talk to Mrs. Field about Daddy's drinking. For, I wasn't allowed to tell anyone. For the record, children, if your daddy's drinking a lot, Shut the fuck up. Cause drinking ain't a problem, it's a fucking solution. There's a picture for me. While the turkey was cooking, I asked Daddy, Can we go sledding now? Later, he said, I got mad. But you promised. Don't bug me, he shouted. Get lost. I hate when Daddy yells at me. Scared he'll hit me. Stayed quiet and played with my new toys. Pretend my sled could fly just like Santa's over the clouds to a warm place. Apparently, little bitch hates Christmas. There's a picture. When it was time to set the table, I put out an extra plate, but Mommy took it away. Is Mrs. Field eating with us? I asked. No, Mama told me. I had to telephone her not to come. Dad is feeling sick. I was really disappointed. Practically made the stuff all by myself. Dad didn't look sick. He looked mad. Where'd you hide the beer? He had hollered at Mommy. He drank it all, she told him. I guess he didn't believe her because he started hunting for more. Looked everywhere, even at the grandfather clock. He was so mad I hid behind the couch and didn't move. Finally, he went out. It's understandable. If your woman is hiding your beer from you, telling you you drank it all, just get the fuck out of there. She ain't worth it. It wasn't fair. He promised to take me sled. I waited, waited picture of her looking out the window, waiting and waiting for Daddy.
and I saw him coming back home. He had a great big smile on his face. He remembered. I ran outside of my sled. See how happy Dad looks? To the solve his own problems. He tried to sit down on it, but he fell, plop, right in the snow. That made him mad all over again, and he threw the sled in the hedge. Like it was my fault. Mom took him inside, and I heard yelling and screaming, glass falling. Poor Dad. Had to learn how to keep your legs. This snow's a bitch to walk through. I wish just once we could have a real Christmas like other people. After a while, Mommy remembered about me. She was crying. What shall we do with that huge turkey, she said. Mrs. Fields not coming and Daddy is too sick to eat. She's crying like a bitch. Don't let your woman do that to you. He's not sick, I told her. He's drunk. There's nothing wrong with that. Help me. Daddy is sick, Lisa. Can't help us drinking. Makes him do hurtful, mean things he doesn't really want to do. The true kind daddy is the one who loves you so much he built you this beautiful sled. I wish the mean daddy wouldn't always spoil Christmas, I said. Mommy dried her eyes. Well, this one doesn't have to be spoiled. We can't cure daddy. So why don't we share a turkey with Mrs. Field just as we planned? Take it to her house on my sled, I suggested. I tied a bow on the turkey to make it look like a present to me. Pulled it up the hill. Miss Field was real surprised. I guess she wasn't expecting to see them there. But she no drinking ain't a problem. She lit the fire for us and we counted the colors of the flames. Then I counted Mrs. Field's Christmas cards. She must know a lot of people. At that, I gotta ask, who the fuck counts the colors in flames? It's fucking like two, maybe maybe three if it's gas. You got your fucking orange and your yellow, and maybe some fucking blue in that. Jesus Christ. Like, it's a big fucking deal. But you count the three, good job. I don't remember if I showed you the picture, but there you go. I drew a card for Daddy, and he didn't even open it, I told her. I didn't do anything bad. No, she said, and I know how sad and angry you must be. My own children that way once, and I used to drink too much. Only I'm okay now, because I'm getting help. Dad can, too, when he feels ready. Miss Field touched my cheek. But for now, you can learn to be happier. You try to do one of your favorite things every day. I guess I was doing that already. I like turkey legs almost more than anything. Hopefully one of these days she'll learn something fucking better than turkey legs. Beer. We had to go. Mommy and I wrapped some turkey for Daddy. Wait till I tell him what a great Christmas he missed, I said. Mom gave Miss Field a teary look. I hope she wasn't going to cry again. Then Miss Field gave me some silver bells. Tied my sled so we wouldn't get lost in the dark. Come back off, she said. I told her I would. I felt safe in her house. There's a picture. The book makes me need a fucking cigarette. See how fucking mad this makes me? Thinking drink's a fucking problem. Couldn't even light my own damn cigarette. Daddy was asleep when we got home. The next morning he said, Thank you for your car, sweetheart. I love it and I love you too. Sunday we go sledding, I promise. 
I didn't really believe him on Sunday, but I guess it's okay. Said he loved me and my sled is my best Christmas present ever. One of these days she'll become an adult and start drinking. I don't know. Guess we probably should ask some of you limp dick faggots out there what you drink. Fucking Cardi apple rum or some raspberry shit. I don't know what the fuck's out there. I really hope Daddy takes some sledding on Sunday, but if he's sick again, I'll try not to mind. If I take my sled in Mrs. Fields and Mommy comes too, I'll be doing my next most favorite thing. And that's the end. So today, what did we learn? learned. Some dumbasses go out there, think drinking's a fucking problem. It ain't. It's how men solve their problems. You're sitting there, and you're thinking, oh, there's an alcoholic in my family, it's a problem. Fuck it, it. Maybe you should go ahead and try to quit giving him problems about it, because that's only going to make him drink more. That's all he fucking needs. You don't want to deal with you, you're bitching and complaining. Jesus Christ, can you imagine how their daddy must have felt? Anyway, YouTube, hope y'all liked this video a bit more. Hope that was rough enough for you. Managed to get a little hard on or something. I don't know what the fuck y'all get out there. Jesus Christ. You, you bottoms even get hard ons. You're just so used to taking it up the ass, you don't even need it anymore. Never sure, never sure what's going on with y'all. Anyway, YouTube, cheers. Have a good night. And if you got a problem, suggest you head to the liquor store. Party hard.